You're right. Well, we're in sunny Alcudia. It is absolutely red hot. Just come up from the beach, had a bit to eat, having a drink for our jollies. What are you looking at? And uh, we thought we'd better do a quick vlog for you. So, while we've been away on holiday, a uh, few things have happened. Um, mostly so, uh, Lee Catamull has decided that he's away. And uh, reading on social media, there seems to be quite a bit of uh, people complaining uh, that he's been allowed to go and stuff like that. He's our best player, blah de blah de blah. Um, Lee Catamull, over the 10 years plus he's been at the club, um, has been good and bad. He, there's been seasons where he's been brilliant. He was pretty good last season. Uh, was he our best player? I think uh, Ian McGeady probably pipped him to the post for the title of uh, best player of the season. But um, he's up and he's away. He was pretty good last season. Um, but you have to say, you know, when you're on wages of £40,000 a week and you're in League One, and you know they're big wages people are complaining that apparently it's just uh, we've not actually sold them god is it hot enough in here um people complaining that we've um just let him go terminated his contract um and we haven't sold him and got a fee for him but um i couldn't really see any clubs coming in and paying for him and then giving him his £40,000 a week wages. So for me, I think it's a good deal. Yes, we've lost Catmull, good player. He's been all right for us. Um, very much a leader on the pitch. And, um, but he's, he's gone and it's gonna free up £40,000 a week, which, you know, that should give us the ability to buy, you know, three, four, five, maybe decent players and actually still pay them, uh, pay them a canny wage. Um, and him out the door, wish him well. Sheffield Wednesday, I believe he's, he's gone to. And, um, you know, I wish the guy well. But I still think, I think it's a fairly good move uh, for Sunderland. So, I don't think it's that bad and I can't, I can't understand why everybody's sort of complaining about it. And then we see, uh, we signed, I think it was yesterday, uh, we've signed a new uh, right back, Connor McLaughlin from Millwall, I think he's come from Northern Ireland International. Uh, he's come on a free transfer and, well, he's a right back. So hopefully that could free up uh, Luke O9, who can probably move a bit further up the field now, um, play down the wing, get some crosses in, maybe a couple of goals, uh, add to our attacking game so Connor McLaughlin coming in um, is probably a pretty decent move um, don't know what the guy's like haven't got a clue but at least you know he's a right back and if nothing else should free up uh, Luke 9 and then um, I've been reading uh, how true this is and I, I, I don't know because I mean we're out here on holidays so we're seeing bits and bobs on social media but uh, apparently uh, there's a few clubs sniff around our goalie John McLaughlin um, if that's true I would hate to think that the club would sell McLaughlin uh, we've gone through uh, a couple of previous seasons where our goalkeepers have been absolutely terrible and probably been the main reason for us being relegated and then we find a good goalie in McLaughlin who's been outstanding probably um, you know one of the best players of the season for us uh, being absolutely brilliant so the thought that the club would look to sell him um, is well not very good so I'm hoping that's just all rumours anyway and uh, that's not going to come to fruition so we'll wait and see anyway we 
went out and watched the England ladies last night play the USA. And uh, disappointing that they didn't make the final. I had done really well to get to the semis. And I thought, you know, the standard of football wasn't that bad. You know, in the past, women's football's not been that good to watch, but I thought it was pretty good. It was fairly good. Uh, played well last night, the England ladies, uh, playing against USA, the ranked number one team in the world. They're the holders of the World Cup. And to be fair, probably the best team won last night. Uh, America probably just did edge it. Um, England were unlucky to have the goal disallowed with the VF, uh, VFR, VAR decision, uh, but it was offside, so it was offside. Um, I think they were slightly fortunate to get the penalty. That went to VAR. Uh, the penalty was given, so uh, sort of evened itself out. And then unfortunately, poor penalty uh, saved, which meant that, of course, um, America have gone through to the World Cup final. But we watched the game and it wasn't too bad. And um, well, it was another semi-final that the England ladies got to, so hopefully next time they'll progress a little bit further. Um, as soon as we get back, we're going to start um, getting the show ready for the first game of the season at the Wheat Sheaf for the pre-match show before we play Oxford. And hopefully uh, next week we've got some big news for you. Uh, myself and the Mad Mistake um, We'll get together and we'll do a little vlog together uh, to give you a little bit of exciting news. So make sure you tune in uh, to the channel next week and we'll tell you more uh, about that and how uh, you yourselves can get involved in it. Uh, so that's about it then. It is 38 degrees here. We are absolutely melting. Uh, we've had something to eat, about a pint. Uh, we're gonna head back down to the beach and uh, don't forget, if you haven't yet subscribed to the channel, uh, please do so. Hit the like button, leave us a comment, and we'll see you in the next vlog. See you then. Bye.